Now, business leaders are urging employers here in the East Midlands to offer work placements to young people with special educational needs and disabilities. According to the Office for National Statistics, the employment rate for those with learning difficulties is just 17.6%. Now, careers leaders say barriers include lack of opportunities to gain experience, so they're issuing an urgent call to action, as Amy Payne reports. A taste of the world of work for Tom and this placement is also something new for his employer. Tom's the first student with special educational needs to gain experience here. Hi, good morning guys, welcome to English. Now, in his final few weeks of school, Tom believes he's better prepared for the future. I've uh, learnt new skills um, from uh, working professionally and talking formally to colleagues and it also has given me a lot of confidence. Gary McDermott designed Tom's placement at the company. Tom. They're planning to offer many more. As well as getting a conscientious, hard-working employee um, who made a valued contribution in the workplace, we also recognise benefits with other members of the team. According to the Office for National Statistics, the employment rate for disabled people with learning difficulties is only 17.6%, the lowest of any impairment. And business leaders say barriers to accessing work include lack of opportunities to gain experience. We would put a call out to all businesses to say, actually, look at where you need to go with your organisation and then look at how can you encourage young people, particularly with special education needs and disabilities, to be a part of that journey with you. There are some amazing young, talented people out there. This is our library where we spend all of our time talking about careers and employability. Leaders at Tom's Hinkley School, Dorothy Goodman, are keen to hear from businesses interested and the deputy head teacher has this advice. People with SEND additional needs need reasonable adjustment so that they can bring all of their value to your business and a reasonable adjustment can be as simple as a piece of computer technology but then you need that ongoing dialogue with them, communication with them to check is that working. Bye Sue. Tom will soon be swapping school for college, a future shaped he says by the workplace opportunity that gave him so much. Amy Payne, BBC East Midlands Today, Hinkley. Big good luck to Tom for a fantastic career.